John Alzheimer is known as one of our nation's most recognized credit experts. Having worked for 28 years in the credit industry, John has become one of the most prolific speakers about credit and the go-to authority on answers to credit-related questions. Credit Countdown with John Alzheimer. Hey there, this is John Alzheimer, consumer credit expert. I've got over 30 years of experience in the credit industry, been with FICO and Equifax. So today I'm gonna to talk about credit card rewards and whether or not they are worth it. So a couple things, what is it? Are they worth it? What does it mean? It means um, are credit cards worth you signing up for the card? That's it. It is the act of signing up for the card. So the next question, what is a reward? In, a, in the context of a credit card, what does a reward mean? Well, it's an incentive to sign up for a card. And the incentive can be something like um, a large chunk of points or miles uh, in exchange for you signing up the card and then using it. Uh, if, you know, usually there's like a minimum amount that you have to use it within the first X number of months. Like um, for example, uh, $3,000 3, of spending in the first four months. And if you do that, you get some large chunk of points. Um, another potential uh, reward for signing up for a card could be, you know, um, large cash back bonus on the front end of you opening the card again with you making some sort of a minimum spend on the card. So there, you know, and then in, in my favorite rewards card is the balance transfer card because you get uh, usually some sort of 0% grace period for six months, nine months, 12 months, maybe even longer. And certainly free money has to be considered a reward. That's about the best reward you can get is free money. So the question is, is are those rewards worth you signing up for a card? And so it's actually kind of a rhetorical question um, because the answer is clearly yes, but only if you actually wanted to sign up for that card. So think about think about it this way and answer the, this question that I'm gonna ask you. If those rewards didn't exist, if you weren't gonna get the large amount of cash back, if you weren't gonna get the big mileage chunk or the chunk of points, would you have signed up for that card anyways? And if the answer is absolutely not, then you have to ask the question, uh, you know, are those rewards worth you taking that extra step to sign up for the card? And, and if you answered yes to the question, yes, I would have signed up for this card because A, I like the card, it's got a good interest rate, it's got good terms, it's got good usability, you know, it's got all those vain things like it's cool, it's made out of metal or whatever, you know, the things that are important to people these days, uh, then the rewards are just actually kind of a bonus that you really are just kind of, it's almost like superfluous benefit to the card that you were never really anticipating in the first place. So I I don't necessarily like rewards as, a, as an incentive to sign up for a card because I think it almost dilutes the effort that people make to learn more about the card and whether or not you really want it for the long term because you're not going to get that same reward over and over and over again. You're only going to get it once. So I, I actually... While I'm not being, you know, pejorative or negative towards credit card rewards, I would almost suggest that you choose a card that's got a rewards program that is ongoing and constant, and it will and will be part of your usage throughout your life cycle of using the card. So, for example, you know, miles, points, cash back. These are all things that are valuable to people for years, right? Not just some large chunk of miles or points up front that once you use them, you're like, eh, now what? Um, so keep, that's something that I would actually like for you to consider in addition to the possibility of getting large rewards up front is whether or not you're actually, you really even like the card, um, even if those rewards didn't exist. Now, how do you know, you know, well, you know, I, I'm bombarded with offers from card issuers. Their commercials are all over the TV. I see them all over my browser. Their pop-up ads that are on social media. Um, how do I compare the different ones to see which one I, I like the best? Well, that's that's actually a really good question. It's it's not easy to do. There are some websites that kind of act as credit card strip malls, where you can go and you can look at the different types of rewards cards um, and and compare the sign-up bonuses or the, the, the sign-up rewards to see if any of them are compelling to you relative to some of the other ones. I can tell you that a lot of the big players, like your Cap Ones and your Chases, they usually have really good bonuses for some of their cards, but they do it kind of in a calendar basis, meaning that they don't always have 
certain cards that have certain rewards. It's usually like a seasonal thing with them. So if you if you do some comparison shopping and you don't really see anything that knocks off your socks, you know, wait a month and then you'll likely see something because that stuff is almost, it's, it's, it's scheduled almost on a calendar basis. It, you know, if it's me, to be quite honest with you, I do a lot of traveling um, and I like the cards that, that give me some, you know, make my traveling easier. Either, either giving me points towards hotels, points towards rental cars, points towards airlines, and then those that also let me to, to access the like the VIP areas of the airports, things like that, because, and because that's a compelling thing for people who travel a lot. So hopefully that helps to answer some question about credit card rewards. We'll talk again soon and hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks a lot for watching. For more videos and credit tips from John Olsheimer, go to www.tradelinesupply.com.